Today, I'm going to talk to you about the EB-5 Immigrant Investor Program. Hi, my name is Farah Abbas. I'm an immigration attorney in Chicago. I specialize in investment-based immigration to the United States. This video is going to cover just some of the basics, including what are the requirements for the EB-5 program, how do you apply, and what are the general processing steps. So let's talk about how to apply for the EB-5 program. Some investors apply through what's called the direct EB-5 program. This is where an EB-5 investor is looking to come to the United States to start their own business or to invest into another business. In a direct EB-5 application, only one Ooh. investor can invest into one business entity, and that business entity has to create 10 direct full-time jobs. This means that the business must have qualified U.S. workers on their payroll, independent contractors, temporary employees, seasonal employees, these would not count towards the requirement of creating 10 full-time direct jobs. So that's the direct EB-5 program. Now, most investors end up applying through what's called the regional center program. A regional center has been approved by the U.S. Immigration Service to promote economic growth through the EB-5 program. So regional centers pool together funds from multiple EB-5 investors and direct them towards job creating projects in the United States. Some of the advantages of applying through the Regional Center program are that you really only have a very limited role or participation in running the day-to-day -day operations of the project. These projects tend to be larger and may have multiple sources of funding aside from the EB-5 investments going towards that project. And finally, job creation in the regional center context is not limited to only direct jobs. A regional center project can count a combination of direct and also indirect jobs to show that each investor contributed towards creating at least 10 full-time jobs through the entire project. Usually, a regional center does this by hiring an economist and that economist will put together an economic report where they utilize accepted economic models to calculate the number of indirect jobs that a project creates. So now that we've talked about the requirements of the EB-5 program and how to apply, I'd also like to cover the broad processing steps. So what does the whole immigration process look like? So whether you apply through a direct EB-5 business or through a regional center, the same processing steps apply. In order to begin, an EB-5 investor would first file the Step 1 Form I-526 petition with the U.S. Immigration Service. In this petition, the investor identifies who they are, how they lawfully earned the funds that they used to invest into the EB-5 entity, and then they also include a description or a business plan of how their funds will be used by the EB-5 business to create at least 10 full-time jobs. Step two is when you would apply for the green card. So if an EB-5 investor and their family are living outside the United States, they would go through the immigrant visa application process. If they're inside the United States in lawful status, they would apply for adjustment of status. When the step two application is approved, USCIS would issue the investor and their family two-year conditional green cards. These conditional green cards are the same as green cards offered through any other immigration program. They give the same benefits, they have the same responsibilities, but the difference is that they are conditional because the EB-5 investor has not yet met that final requirement of proving sufficient job creation with their investment. That is done in the step three I-829 petition to remove conditions. In this last petition, the EB-5 direct entity or the regional center project would provide documentation to show that they followed the plan that they set out at the beginning and they spent the EB-5 funds on job creating activities that resulted in the creation of at least 10 full-time jobs. If approved, the investor and their family would then get the permanent green card and the EB-5 immigration process would be complete. 
Thank you for watching this video about the EB-5 immigration process. Again, my name is Farah Abbas. I'm an immigration attorney in Chicago.